Hello everyone, this is Cardmates, and today we'll make a review on the popular poker format Chinese Poker. Chinese Poker is a version of the usual poker. In order to play it, you don't need chips and even a table. A card deck is the only thing you need. Combinations in Chinese Poker are exactly like in usual Tex Hoden. According to the rules, from 2 to 4 players, as in open face Chinese Poker, but three players in the Pineapp version can participate in the game. Every player has three boxes in front of him. The bottom box, five cards, it must consist of the strongest combination. The middle box, five cards, it must consist of a medium combination. The top box, three cards, it consists of the weakest combination. Right at the beginning, each player gets five cards and lays them out face up in any of the three boxes as he likes. Then, depending on the type of Chinese poker, the turns occur as follows. In traditional Chinese poker, each player gets one card face up and puts it in any of his boxes. The turns take place until the players fill all their boxes, eight circles in total. In Pineapple, all players get three cards facing down. A player must lay out two cards in his boxes and the third one, he has to send it to the mug, and it remains closed for opponents. Four circles in total. There are no rounds of trading and betting in Chinese poker. The game is played on units. Bonus points. In a live game, the value of one unit is agreed by the players before the game starts. And on the internet, there are limits that are similar to the limits of the usual cash game. The calculation between the players occurs after the game ends. Let's talk a bit more about Chinese poker rules, and then proceed to the strategy. In Chinese poker, from 2 to 4 players can play simultaneously, but most often, the game is played between 3 opponents. The players must place 13 cards into 3 rows, boxes, from the strongest at the bottom to the weakest on the top. The order of the combinations in Chinese poker is the bottom row, 5 cards, the strongest possible combination. The middle row, 5 cards, medium strength combination. The top row, 3 cards, the weakest combination. At the beginning, each player is dealt 5 cards facing down, but the players lie them out face up. It is important to remember that you cannot change the position of your cards after the turn is completed. The main strategy aspect of the game is forming the combinations from the strongest to the weakest one. If you break this rule, your hand will be considered as dead and you will lose to all of your opponents. Then, each player in priority order is dealt by one card in classical Chinese poker and by three cards in pineapple version. This lasts until everyone has 13 cards. At the end, the combinations are compared and the points are counted. The dealer button is used to determine the turn order, and it is moved after each hand. The exception is fantasy. When one of the players collects a fantasy, the button isn't moved. The stages of the game in Chinese poker can be divided into three parts. Card dealing, combination layout, showdown and scoring. In the picture above, the hand is considered as dead, and the player will not be able to get a Fentas in the next hand. The player in the picture above has violated the order of combinations. The bottom row, two pairs of six and jacks. The middle row, seven high. The top row, a pair of aces. A pair of aces is stronger than seven high, which means that the hand is dead and the player lost to all his opponents. Fantasy in Chinese poker. In an open Chinese poker, a player can get a bonus game called Fantasy. In order to get the opportunity to form the Fantasy, the player must collect the combination from a pair of queens or higher on the top box. If it succeeded, then the player will get all 13 cards, sometimes 14 to 15, it depends on the game, simultaneously in the next hand, and he will be able to lay them out face down. The player who collects the fantasy will not show his cards until the other players finish in place in their combinations. The player can also remain in the fantasy for the following hand if he can collect something from the list. 
set trips in the top row full house or better in the middle row quads or better in the bottom row chinese poker pineapple pineapple is a popular variation of chinese poker the main difference between pineapple and ordinary chinese poker is the number of dealt cards both games begin with the dealing of five cards but in pineapple players are dealt with three cards on the following rounds the players must use two of these three cards to form the combination and the third one must be sent into the mock the main difference between pineapple and classical chinese poker is that the game goes through five rounds instead of nine and each player sees 17 cards instead of 15. in this way pineapple is always played by three players maximum bonuses and the rules of fantasy remains constant pineapple is a fast version which rapidly becomes very popular online scoring in chinese poker points in chinese poker are being accrued depending on the combination that you've managed to collect if the player beats his opponent in all three rows he gets six bonus points if the player has scooped he must pay six bonus points to each contestant points are counted after all players finish laying out their combination scooped or dead hands in chinese poker is a situation where your combinations are drafted in the wrong order for example you have collected two pairs on the bottom box and set in the middle box scoop also cancels any bonus that you've got futures of chinese poker strategy don't break the order of combination if a combination in any of the boxes has turned out to be stronger than in the previous one the middle box is higher than the bottom one the top box is higher than the middle one then your hand will be considered dead in this case you will lose to all your opponent and you will not get bonus point or units therefore sometimes it will be more profitable for you not to improve your hand on the middle box if you don't have a formed combination on the bottom one watch your opponent's face-up cards carefully in chinese poker the main strategy accent is focused on your cards but the open cards of your opponents can also give you a lot of information example you collect a flush of hearts in the bottom box and your opponents have already opened a lot of hearts in this case it will be more profitable for you to refuse the idea of collecting a flush and try to collect another combination try to collect fantasy fantasy is an additional game option that becomes available to the player when he collects a combination from a pair of queens and higher in the youngest box or the top one he will play the next hand as a fantasy professional opinion tom Schinder, world series of poker bracelet winner says the great thing about chinese poker is that it seems like an easy game and until you play it you never know how many mistakes you can really make crazy pineapple poker strategy the crazy pineapple strategy where you get three cards facing down and then you must mock one of them on the flop is very similar to the tax holding strategy where you get two cards facing down and omaha where you get four cards but you can only use two of them on the showdown not surprisingly the strategies for crazy pineapple and these two other formats are very similar concepts like pot odds bluffs draw value betting and others continue to apply we will discuss the main strategies differences that must be considered in order to play crazy pineapple poker successfully number one strategy for choosing a starting hands the strategy for choosing a starting hands in crazy pineapple is different from the strategy used in texas holding for example three aces in your hand will be much weaker than you might think since one of these aces should be folded on the flop thus the probability of collecting a set is very small because there is only one ace left in the deck the best starting hands are those that give you several options to collect a strong hand trip strays flushes from the flop for example with this hand you can flop trips straight flushes or even full houses with this other hand again you have a chance to collect all of the above combinations and if you don't hit the flop then you won't lose a lot of money 
as you can easily fold your pair of tens. Look at this odd example. Such pocket cards are also a good starting hand. You can flop two pairs, a flush or a straight. Weak starting hands are the following. All three cards of different suits, rainbow. All three cards are not connectors. There are no broad ways among the cards. For example, for crazy pineapple, a bad starting hand would be 10, 6, 2, rainbow. A good crazy pineapple strategy for beginners is to keep the following considerations in mind. Would you play any combinations of two cards from three pocket cards if it were regular Texas Hold'em? If not, you can easily fold your hand in crazy pineapple. Example, if you're handed out with ace, 10, 5, you can see the combinations on your screen, you can safely fold them. The same applies to the hand of queen, 9, 5. You can also see the combinations on your screen. You should also avoid the mistakes of newcomers to Texas Hold'em. Many recreational players like to see flops with the words any two cards can win. This strategy will be even more risky in Crazy Pineapple because if a player somehow gets into the flop, then he often will not be able to fold his hand. Therefore, tight styles is right, especially for beginners at Crazy Pineapple Poker. Number 2. One pair is a weak hand. In Texas Hold'em, TPTK, top pair, top kicker, depending on the number of opponents, is a pretty strong hand. In Craze Pineapple, this hand will often cost you a lot of money, because one pair will often only be the second best hand on the showdown. This will happen all the time since Craze Pineapple Poker is much likely to have two pairs, trips, straights, full houses, and stronger combination. Accordingly, if you have a TPTK, you have to make a big bet on the flop in order to immediately win the pot. If your opponents do not fold, then try to use pot control fodder. If you encounter resistance, folding is often the best strategy. It is very likely that your top pair will be defeated by one of your remain opponents. Number 3. Be aware of flushes. A flush can be seen in Craze Pineapple much often than in Texas Hold'em, because here you are dealt 3, not 2 cards. If all 3 cards on the flop have the same suit, you can be almost sure that your opponent already has a flush. If the flop has 2 cards of the same suit and you already have a made hand, you should bet about 3 quarters of the pot to make the flush draw too expensive for your opponent, if measured by the pot odds. Many players at Craze Pineapple are trying to make a flush. If you have a flush, you should keep this in mind and play carefully if your flush is not a nut flush. Chinese poker has become pretty popular among both professional and regular players. There is no need for you to be an experienced poker pro to do well in these games but just make sure that you know poker hand ranking before you start playing them. That's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching our review. More information on different poker formats and promotions you can find at cardmates.net. See you soon guys!